are going to Disney World! another video. Today's video is going to be so exciting because we are going to Disney World. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I almost... Thanks for the excitement. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a car in my way, so I was like focused. I'm excited. I'm really excited that we're going to Animal Kingdom. Like, yeah. it's been years, so I'm excited. We are really excited. Um, the lighting is going to be weird for a second, but I am so excited about today. But today's video is more about how to do Disney World with a disability. How accessible is it? I have to start off by showing you the fact that Daniel is currently dialyzing right now so that we could be on time. And also because, you know, we're doing manual dialysis, which basically what that means is that um, we do, instead of using the machine, Daniel puts in the fluid himself and then there's a bag hanging off of that catheter right there where once everything is done, sitting, the fluid is done sitting in his belly for a while, then it'll drain into a bag. And then I brought some caps right here and then no worries like he can totally dialyze on the go here in the car that's totally fine as long as when he disconnects we go ahead and we turn off the ac and everything just to avoid um contamination and of course hand sanitizer and everything like that and wearing mask while he you know unhooks because basically that catheter right there when he's not hooked up to any tubing or to the dialysis his abdomen is open to the outside world in a in a sense it's not like you know super crazy or anything like that but we have to keep that as clean as possible like we don't want to introduce anything in there so that has to be like a really clean process but as long as we're doing it here in our car they say it's not a big deal at all so that's really cool right there stay to the right yeah so we're gonna do the i think it's this blue line you see the blue line on the road yeah i do i see a blue line they said to stay to the right um we have the temporary disability parking thingy we're doing so we actually have a temporary i'm not trying to show you everything because i'm not sure what's supposed to be private or not yeah, no. but you can actually do a temporary um you know, usually the blue ones are the permanent ones, but you can do a temporary um, Yo, disability parking. That is so cool. Why would you drop me off? So you can go get a wheelchair. Go park. Oh, no, but I need the tickets. I don't want to go in without. Just yeah, I would have to go inside the park. I don't want. Yo, the disability parking is literally like the entrance to the park is like right there. So we don't have to walk barely anything, which we're so excited about. And it's not super full, which means they shouldn't run out of wheelchairs but like i was saying we got a you can get a six month um parking permit which we were really needing because daniel just cannot walk far distances <coughs> um so it's the, se the second time we get a six month one i think the process to get a permanent um disability parking tag or registration or whatever that's called is longer and that would be the blue one so we've this is the second time we've gotten the red one in the in the last year over a year and a half um so we're really excited because now we get to park right up to the entrance which is amazing last time we had to walk so far to get to the park that daniel was spent so anyways we're gonna go get a scooter and we're so excited let's do this
you can see, the walking from the parking lot into the park was quite lengthy. So if you are someone that is going to require wheelchair, even for short distances, I will let you know it was a tough walk for Daniel. It is hot and muggy and just really humid here in Florida. So it really tired him out quick and he was happy to get in that scooter. Now, if you're curious about the prices, the scooters are 75 or $70 a day even, but they will give you back a $20 deposit at the end of the day. Just make sure to keep your receipt to make things easier because once you return the scooter, you will be giving that receipt and they will be giving the $20 back in whatever payment method you use. Now, I will also say that they do have wheelchairs available. Those are only $12 a day, which is a great price, but it's gonna be pretty tiring for me to wheel Daniel around all day and he wants to have mobility, independence, and freedom and a scooter just works better. Also, I'll take this opportunity to say that we were able to purchase a scooter for Daniel so we won't have to keep paying for a scooter when we do long walks like a Disney World day or walks when we go other places and we were able to do that with the help of those who donated to our GoFundMe. So thank you so much to those of you who did. The GoFundMe remains open and will be linked down below and it helps us to pay for medical equipment as well as pay off medical debt and we are so appreciative for your help. Thank you so much. So this is the very first attraction that we did. It's tough to be a bug. This is the attraction that's inside of the big tree at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And it was pretty much the same thing from here on out. We just did the same line that everyone else would do, but then we would get to a point in the attraction or the ride where Daniel would be taken through a special line that was wheelchair or scooter accessible. And then from there, we would be guided to the ride through a point where we could go and park the scooter or they would take the scooter from us and go park it somewhere else and Daniel would have a short walk to his seat in the attraction, his chair or whatever have you. And that was pretty much all the rides here at Enemy Kingdom. Chicken bowl, we're in the Harambe market at Animal Kingdom. Uh huh. Paid way too much for this. Food. Tell them how much. $18 for just this and a Coke. And then Daniel got the, it's like a lemonade. Yeah. But it's like an eight, like a wild, African wildflower yeah. lemonade. It's like a blueberry lemonade, I think. It's good. It's a little sweet for my taste, but it's good. It could be sweeter. All right. But it's very lemony. Yes. All right. How have you been enjoying the day? What have we done so far? So far we went to the safari, um, which was Speak pretty- Speak up, that whistle's so loud. There's a train? Yeah. So, so far we went to the safari in Animal Kingdom. So good. Top notch. Um, it took almost like an hour though to go through. It was a 10 minute waiting line, but it mm -hmm. took like an hour to get through everything. So we were late to the Lion King show, which I haven't been to since I was like 12 and I really want to do, so we're gonna do that next. So we have to get there, they set a half hour early so they can sit us down. Okay. Um, so a lot of the shows and stuff, like, and even the rides, they take you through a different line. Like you still make the line with everyone else most of the time, and then they take you through a different line to get into a more accessible area. So for the safari, they had like a ramp if people have to go straight up with the wheelchair. Um, there wasn't a lot of spots though if you needed to do that, but Daniel can stand up of course and walk into the safari So that was super easy. Um, it's navigating the scooter through the really tight lines I think that has been difficult not too bad you do good, but I wouldn't be able to do it <laughs> But you do good and It's been good. Um, the only thing about driving a scooter is like people do not get out the way No, and they get in the way they get in the way or they get mad if you have to turn around or whatever and Yeah, it's like, well, I'm so happy that you're like completely able-bodied you can just <laughs> go fast but I, I'm starting to realize too like I get really impatient too with you like because we're not moving fast enough yeah, because okay. the scooter is big and it gets in the way yeah um, but I'm like <coughs> having to learn that I just have to be patient and like we have to go at our pace yeah, so, yeah and then totally we have respectful. the annual tickets now so we can come back it's like if we don't get to everything it's like totally fine the important thing is to enjoy the day and not make it into like a really stress we got really fun all right let's eat <laughs> you hear me? No, like, what you say? Really oh my god. <laughs>
I need the background music. <laughs> there we go. But like, we just have to take our, our time. Okay. I freaking love this avatar place. I've been excited to come see it. You? Because you didn't get to see the whole, no. the whole thing. That is so cool. How's the heat today? Terrible. Yeah? I mean, this morning was like really hot, but it's gotten like progressively worse. I'm dying. I have my $15 fan from Amazon. Link it down below. <laughs> I could not survive without this. I'm dying right now. It's like, what time is it? Like 2? Something like that, yeah. It's like 2 o'clock or something like right now. So it's it's getting bad. So we're halfway through our day though. We did, we've done good. Really all the good. Rides, today's a Thursday. So all the rides have been like 5 minute waits. I mean, no wait, honestly. Just walking. I mean, it's a long distance to walk and get through the line. Um, oh, ow. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright everybody, it's meal number two. Carla, you look a little disappointed. This thing is so sour. I I don't know what like when I come to parks and stuff like that, I'm like a really simple eater. I eat like a 12-year-old kid. So I just wanted like a cheeseburger and fries. And so everywhere we go, they just have like and we notice like when we go to other Disney parks, they always have the weirdest food. Like when mm -hmm. we went to Star Wars, the Star Wars area in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it was like regular food, like mac and cheese and stuff like that. But the chicken was like cute. Mm -hmm. It was just the texture wasn't it. Like it wasn't it. And the food was so expensive. So the update, everyone. I literally almost had a heat stroke. I started feeling so sick. It is at least 90 degrees out here. Daniel doesn't get as hot as I do. Not anymore. But I was struggling, so I pulled out my, you know, my fan. It's getting cloudy, and it feels so much better. I rolled, up, yeah, I used the chair for a little bit, and Daniel walked, and I feel better. <laughs> but I was overheating, big time. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long The world isn't really accessible as I would like it to be for anyone who has a disability. No matter what that disability looks like, whether it is visible or invisible, I know there's just all kinds of disabilities. I think in some way or other, there are people around us that sometimes we don't even know what they are struggling with. But what makes me happy is that despite how inaccessible some things can be for someone with a disability, I am so grateful that our government and laws that are being put in place are helping to make the world at least a little bit more accessible. I think that in this process we have both learned that we need to have patience, that we need to have a grace with others who just don't understand what it's like to not have the energy to be able to walk a hundred feet. 
people just don't understand sometimes. I think the best way that we can show others that they need to be more understanding is by being understanding ourselves. So if you're someone struggling with an illness, overall, Disney World is totally doable. It is harder. It is more time consuming to do things that maybe were easier before. But it's worth it to get out there and adventure. And this little Disney trip for us was for the celebration of our anniversary. And family members came together to help us have this wonderful day. And I am so grateful that I still get to do things like this, even if they're a little bit harder. So go out there, no matter your disability, and enjoy your life. You're stronger than the others think. And who cares if you might miss it?